what I think is interesting about the Americans, uh, what I think, it has so many different levels and, and aspects going for it. Um, yes, there's a level of the spies, um, but there's also this really complex marriage. And speaking about, um, you know, lying and deception, I, at its greatest moment, I think the Americans is such an interesting metaphor on marriage. And it being about, you know, you can never truly know the other person. And whether you're spies or not, really, you don't, you don't know what that other person, really what's making them go. You have your reality and your perception, but their perception is so different than yours. And, and how much you reveal to each other and, you know, what truths you tell. And this marriage in the context of this spy world and this insane world where we sleep with other people for our job and we're expert liars and, you know, just raises the stakes and makes it that much more um, dramatic. But I think the most interesting part is um, this relationship and how you are a spy or in that context of the relationship. I love that this character is is cold and um, she's not the warmest, she's not the best mom yet. I think she will grow into that. Um, but I think that's what's interesting about her and I like that it's the female of the relationship who's a little cooler. I, he's, the husband is gregarious and loving and charming and everything he does and everyone loves talking to him. And I think um, Elizabeth, resents that. I think she sees that things are so easy for him and it's just like she doesn't want to be that but and yet she holds it against him <laughs> on some level um, and um, I, I like her, her coldness. I think it, it's a great place to start and I think we will see her grow. I think um, another interesting aspect is these two characters were plucked at 19 years old or 17 years old and trained I mean, you don't know anything at that point about yourself. Or you do, in some sense, I guess. But, and I think some very traumatic things happened to her in, uh, in that young age that it has informed the way she behaves emotionally in, in a relationship. And um, I think there's a great place to go from there. I think that's what's interesting about the, the story and, and the show. You know, you're, you're trying to root for us, but we're for the opposite team. We're the Russians, um, but I think that's the conceit. As you're watching it, you're so, sort of supposed to be flipping it, I guess, you know, and thinking, like, this is the, I'm rooting for them, you know. And that is sometimes what I do in thinking about it, even though we're think, talking about taking down the government and taking down America and their ideals, I think um, you do sometimes have to switch it and think, if I was in a foreign country and I'm fighting for my country and I would be you know, fighting for my family there and all the people I love. And um, but I, I also think uh, I, I do like the idea for Americans, especially. Um, we live in in such a melting pot culture. There's no there's no black and white. There's very little black and white. I feel like in this country, everything is very gray, and there's many different levels to everything. And um, you know, there, there's nothing quite like the Russian. Uh, mindset here and um, there are people who are black and white and believe there is one right way and um, it's an interesting place to come from because I think there are as art when people are that ardent about something or an idea or a cause I do think there are little holes and um, they're usually hiding something when they are that ardent and I think that might be the case I think because of the spy element it's, Homeland is an easy comparison. I think um, it's such a drastically different show. And I, what I love about Homeland, what I think they do so well, is they prey on our immediate fears. Like all of those things that they are discussing and exploring are happening right now. They are horrifying and scary, and um, they are pouncing on that immediate, immediate like fear that we're experiencing. This show is something different. And I think what this show is much more of, of a fantasy um, centered around a couple and a relationship. Yes, there is the spy element, which is 
really exciting and secretive and cool and I think is interesting on TV, you know, and it creates suspense and it also allows the stakes to be really high. And then there's the added element of watching history, you know, with hindsight. Um, but I think at its core, it's really a show about a complex marriage within that context. And um, I think that's the main difference between it and Homeland, um, is watching the intricacies of how this couple navigates being spies together and being partners and also, you know, being having this arranged marriage and then slowly falling in love with each other after all of these years, I think, is the intricacies and step by step of that while betraying each other on a daily basis is is just so interesting. He's so lovely and, um, uh, you know, we, we did have to do screen tests and, you know, how they do that. And, and it's true, it's sort of like, dogs, you know, like, so there are dogs at the park, and some dogs just don't get along, and some dogs do, and um, instantly, fine. Um, but he's such a talent, I mean, it's crazy. He's, he's so good. We were just shooting some weird torture scene last night in the freezing cold, and, um, and he's just, he's, he's magnificent. He is so good, and I marvel at his talent on a daily basis. I'm like, oh crap, he's doing all that? I'm not doing half of that. Ugh. I love that I'm competitive even in this, which he knows. I think anytime there is any sort of costume or, you know, period, um, I think that stuff always helps character. It just helps you get out of yourself. Just even little increments is good. Um, so I love that it's set in the 80s. As a kid growing up in the 80s, the thing I remember the most is watching movies and, um, or TV shows, and there was such a clear enemy. You know, every single movie we watched, the, the Russian-accented guy was the bad guy. Obviously, oh, I know who the bad guy is. He's the guy with the Russian accent. He's the guy who's gonna beat up Rocky or whatever, you know? Um, and today is just such a different, such a different thing. Um, so that would be one thing that I would remember from the 80s. But also, um, I also remember, at least in this country, such a sense of, you know, pride and being Americans and all the songs. Remember all those songs, like the Neil Diamond songs and, you know, born in the U.S., like all those, there was such a national unified pride. And not that people aren't proud now, but it, it's a different, it's a different place and a different time. And um, I think that's easy to draw upon and that's something that the show sort of draws upon, this like patriotic sense and this dazzling um, pride to be Americans, and I think it's just a little bit more complicated than that now.